Hi, my name is Mark Hernandez from Dillon Consulting, and I'm the project manager for the Cabana Corridor Improvements Project Phases 3 and 4. I'm here with my colleague, Tina Hocko, who is the project engineer for this challenging project. We would like to highlight for you some of the key features of the project. If you would like to review the plans in more detail, they can be downloaded from the project webpage. As you may have heard from the city's project manager, Jane He, recommendations from the environmental assessment for the Cabana Road corridor included widening the road to accommodate future traffic volumes, adding bike lanes and sidewalks to promote active transportation, and it also identified potential road closures to reduce access points and improve safety along the corridor. We are in the process of taking the recommendations through to detailed design, and we're pleased to share with you some of those details. Cabana Road will be widened to four lanes with bike lanes, separated from traffic by a half meter painted buffer zone. The proposed design also features curb and gutter, sidewalks, and street lighting on both sides of Cabana. The signalized intersections will be improved by the additional through lanes, new and improved left turn lanes, and upgrades to the traffic signals. The project also includes upgrades to the storm sewer system along Cabana Road, reconstruction of aging sanitary sewers, new water main, new gas mains, relocation of telecommunications infrastructure, and new hydro lines. To accommodate all of this new infrastructure, the city will need to acquire property or easements at select locations along the corridor, and notices have been sent to affected property owners. If you have any questions regarding a proposed property taking on your land, please contact the city representative that is included in the notice you received. As noted earlier and as described in the project website, the environmental assessment proposed several potential intersecting road closures within phases three and four of Cabana Road. We have reviewed these recommendations as part of this project and our recommendations are as follows. Currently, Daytona south of Cabana has a cul-de-sac and residents access Cabana from Northway. While the environmental assessment indicated a connection to Cabana, the recommended solution is to formally close this section of Daytona, making the cul-de-sac a permanent feature. The next candidate is Richard E. Boulevard, which was proposed to be fully closed in the environmental assessment report with the new connection to Santo Drive. Our assessment supported this recommendation due to the low volumes that can easily be handled on adjacent streets, as well as the opportunity to eliminate the severe angle at the Cabana Road intersection. It would further eliminate the existing offset intersection with Askin Avenue to the north of Cabana. The design includes a standard size cul-de-sac to allow emergency and service vehicles to be able to turn around. Roxborough Avenue was also proposed to be closed at Cabana Road in the environmental assessment report. Our transportation analysis supports this recommendation. However, through consultation with emergency services, it was determined that Roxborough would be too long to support a full closure. In addition, emergency services noted the desire to access Roxborough from Cabana. The result is a recommendation for a partial closure of Roxborough as shown here. The design intention is to continue to allow access to Roxborough from Cabana and to keep the majority of Roxborough as a two-way street. However, Southbound traffic on Roxborough would be redirected north and access to Cabana be provided via Glenwood. Our analysis shows that the increase in traffic on Glenwood is minimal and the intersection of Glenwood and Cabana will continue to operate at an acceptable level. Although Curry Avenue was also brought forward as a potential candidate for road closure, it was not supported during our analysis for several reasons. Due to the configuration of the Corpus Christi parking lot with accesses on both Curry and Cabana, there's a high probability that traffic would cut through the parking lot to gain access to either Curry or Cabana. The second reason has to do with the location of St. Gabriel's School to the north and the difficulty that closing Curry would cause for school buses and other school traffic. And finally, since Curry is a relatively busy road, fully or partially closing it at Cabana would result in too much traffic being directed to Dominion, which would negatively impact the function of the Dominion and Cabana intersection. These reasons make the drawbacks of closing Curry far outweigh the benefits. Therefore, the design reflects a traditional side street stop controlled intersection at Curry and Cabana. 
Similar to Roxborough Avenue, Longfellow Avenue was also identified in the environmental assessment as a candidate for a full closure, and based on feedback from emergency services, a partial closure is recommended that will maintain northbound access from Cabana to Longfellow. Similar to Roxborough, southbound traffic would be redirected north and access Cabana via Dominion. The traffic analysis confirms that the increase of traffic on Dominion is minimal and the Cabana Dominion intersection will continue to operate at an acceptable level. In addition to the proposed cross section and road closures, we wanted to share with you our plan with respect to trees. Where possible and in consultation with the city forester, we have made every reasonable effort to maintain existing trees along the corridor. Where trees cannot be maintained, placement of new trees will be considered. Where trees are being maintained, trimming and pruning may still be required and a tree protection plan will form part of the construction requirements. We would like to thank you for your interest in this project. We welcome your comments and feedback, so please fill out our comment form. In addition, contact information for the project team has been provided in the webpage if you would like to discuss a specific matter further.